Hello, I'm Isaiah. Welcome back to another update video. So I just came back from the gym and here I am. <laughs> this is mostly like an update video about my health, I guess. So if you guys are on Patreon, like, you know, if you guys are pledging on Patreon, I do firstly apologize. I have been a bit inconsistent, not because I wanted to, but because I actually got sick. So two weeks ago, I got, uh, I got my allergies. Um, what, what do you call it when you get an allergy? I guess uh, my allergy was coming back. I guess it, it's not really coming back, but what do you call it? You get an allergy? No. I, I don't know what word you're supposed to, to use when you get an allergy or when your allergy comes back. But basically, I got an allergy, so kind of like food poisoning. I only ate a tiny bit of a lobster, and my face was just like blowing up. Like, you know, like lots of those big ass, um, like it's getting swollen and everything was so itchy, right? That was two weeks ago. And last week, I actually got another food poisoning or something that's relating to food. Um, just to m mention this, I guess, so that you guys can get some context. I usually make my food and then I store it a lot. Like I have a chest freezer that I store for frozen food. Like I make my meals in bulk, right? And I try to incorporate or experiment a lot of the foods that I actually make. So I've been making a lot of soup lately. And I kind of wanted to know just how long they can last. But turns out, one of the times that I was eating my soup, it was already spoiled. So it was pretty bad. <laughs> so last week, I actually, um, I guess my immune system dropped because I was eating so many bad foods at once. And I got a slight fever and I was coughing all over. So I wasn't able to actually record as much as I wanted to. As you guys can saw, if you guys are on Patreon, that uh, I haven't really been recording as much, um, as much the 25th Ward especially, because in the 25th Ward, I'm actually talking a lot more. It, I, I was making Amayui pretty consistently because uh, Amayui, even though I still need to, needed to talk, I was mostly doing gameplay, so that's why I was actually doing more Amayui last week and also this week. And... This week, I'm actually still recovering. So yesterday, it was very painful. So I was coughing and having a high fever. And there was like a canker sore. I don't know if you guys even know what the hell that is. But it's basically a small ulcer. And it's at the very bottom of my tongue. It's a lot better now, but yesterday it was really bad. I still don't think I'm going to be recording any new episodes today. But yeah, it's at the bottom of my tongue, and I don't want it to open up again. I don't want the wound to open up. So that's why I'm not going to be talking as much until, I'd say, maybe tomorrow. I'm not going to be streaming, so I've actually only just been, like, uh, playing Osu during my off time because I wanted to stream, or I wanted to stream and also record, but I can't talk. <laughs> and I feel like if I don't talk during those recording sessions or those streaming sessions, it wouldn't be as fun. Okay, but yeah, that's the update about Patreon. So I just wanted to talk about that. And I also wanted to talk about, uh, there's actually this guy. Um, what actually is his, his username on YouTube? So there was a comment on YouTube a couple of days ago about how... You know, like when I'm talking, when I'm recording, like the first two minutes is just me talking. And I'm like, huh, this guy actually makes a good point. Because, you know, whenever I record a visual novel, I always talk about how char these characters are talking so much. They're just talking about filler, right? So I like, hmm, this guy makes a good point. <laughs> yeah, Mega Bondage Man here. He was talking about how I was talking for two minutes straight in the Venus Blood Frontier video. And I didn't label it as a Let's Play, so I guess that's why it got recommended. There's a reason why I don't uh, put Let's Plays on my videos, by the way. It's because sometimes I put like so much um, text in the video description or in the video title that it doesn't fit. And I like uniformity in my, um, in my channel. That's why I never actually put Let's Plays on any 
of the Let's Plays or playthroughs, yeah. But yeah, his um his comment really made me think, right? Like, yeah, he makes a pretty good point. I talk about filler characters and then I also talk about, you know, my daily life and whatnot. And the reason why I do that, I believe, is because I want my videos to have my personality show up, you know? I feel like that's part of what makes a Let's Play unique. You know my character, you know my daily activities, you kind of know how I think and whatnot. And I think that's just my personality. It shows in the videos. I can do what he wants me to do, just cut off all the fat and then make everything as a silent playthrough. But do you really show yourself in a video like that? I don't necessarily think so, right? Ah, sorry about that. I, I'm drinking some tea right now. Uh, I needed to hydrate myself a lot too, by the way, because if my mouth is a bit dry, it's gonna get even worse. That's why I'm actually drinking a lot. So, while he does make a good point, and while, yeah, I could do what he's saying, I am still gonna be doing what I'm doing, you know, making my intros, making the flash last episode recap, I feel like that actually does add flair and personality to my videos. And it, it's, um, it's, compares, it's compared to when I talk about those filler characters in visual novels, right? So unlike characters in visual novels, I am a person, like sure, I can be classified as an entertainer and whatnot on YouTube. But I don't necessarily feel like I am making a character when I'm recording, right? So unlike people or unlike characters in a video game where the author clearly made them to spew bullshit just so either, either they're catering towards a specific stereotype or certain characters that would like that stereotype, I'm not that sort of, char I'm not that sort of character. I'm just telling you what it is so that you know, my personality shows. If you guys like it, that's good. If you guys don't like it, that's also okay. There's, there's a sl seeker bar in YouTube, guys. You can just skip like the first five minutes. <laughs> I, I feel like I would appreciate more if you guys do watch the intros and whatnot, but I feel like if that is bothering you guys, you can, al you can always just skip it. That's a feature on YouTube, you know? You don't have to... Like, sometimes I watch my own videos, and sometimes I do ramble on, and even I skip myself. <laughs> so if you guys skip some parts of the videos, like, I make two-hour, three-hour videos, guys. If you guys skip, like, five minutes, ten minutes, I don't think you're gonna be missing too much unless you're watching um, a story-heavy one with speculation that I you sometimes record, which is, like, the... The Subahibi one, I do believe that I talk like way more sometimes in the story. Like I believe someone actually said I talk way more than the story sometimes. But that was on the old channel though before the current channel right here. But yeah, it, it's, um, it's basically the reason why I also stopped um, doing the recording for those RPGs. I feel like when I'm doing those, doing those RPGs, I, I cut my gameplay so that I'm hap I have to be very efficient. I'm showcasing every battle only once, and then I'm only showcasing the story. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like it's not my kind of thing, right? That's why I stopped doing those. I feel like uh, even though I enjoy playing the games, making a video out of it is just not my thing. And the reason why I'm doing YouTube is because I like interaction. I like putting myself, you know, out there. I like, I like it when there's discussions about visual novels or the hobbies that I like, which I don't really talk about these things a lot with other people in real life. My family doesn't like video games. My family doesn't play visual novels. Heck, if they know I play these hentai games, I'd probably be looked at weird. I mean, they, don't, they know I... <laughs> They know I play these games. It's just that um, if I were to talk about these things with them, they'd be like, you know? <laughs> it's just not something that you can um, talk to people in public. That's why it's, it's appreciated that I can showcase or I can talk to people like this in public or on the internet because this is a very niche hobby, right? But yeah, I just don't want to fall into the 
content creation trap, as I would call it. If I try to become like one of those entertainment machines where I just keep dishing out videos and not having my personality, I wouldn't be having fun and I'm going to be prone to burning out a lot more, right? But yeah, just wanted to have a quick update video for you guys like this. So for people on Patreon, I do apologize. I actually got sick and it's, uh, it's really just my fault. <laughs> So tomorrow, right now, it's actually Thursday. I am not going to be streaming for the week. So for people that are anticipating my streams too, I do apologize. I'm not going to be streaming for the week. I'm probably going to be making more episodes for the Silver Case. Probably two, two episodes and then one more for Amayui this week. Since I'm not going to be streaming, I'll have a lot of free time. But yeah, just a quick update for you guys. And yeah, that's about it. No criticism towards that Mega Bondage Mon guy, by the way. He made a good point, and even though he doesn't like what I'm doing, it's a pretty amicable discussion, which I do appreciate. It's, it's good criticism. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.